up, up, down, down. That's the way we like to frown. Oh, I'm crying. I'm frowning so much because I'm up, up, down, down, up. <laughs> uh, hi, it's me, Darling Homebody, a.k.a. Nickel Bricks, a.k.a. Nicole. Jakey. With my co-host, James. James. And what are some of my nicknames? Jam, blee, jam bear, jam jam bear, <laughs> jam 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 bear, like bam margera. Yeah. Okay. Jam jam the scoot, scooter boy. Thank you. He said, "Scoot you looter boy." Oh, I like <laughs> this. I uh, element sponsors me because <laughs> that's who I don't sponsored. Know what that is. Uh, Bam Margera was sponsored by Element Skateboarding. Ooh. Uh, what are we doing, Nicole? Uh, we are mostly dating dads. D. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready for this. All right. Uh, oh yeah, let's, we're in this, watch the previous episodes, but I'll start with this. <laughs> Listen, when I bought this online, wait, I'm Xander, <laughs> I feel so alive. <laughs> Listen, when I bought this online, you're going to be hearing me say, Xander, I feel so alive. <laughs> uh, Listen, when I bought this online, the website said this blouse was Victorian experienced. However, when I received it, it clearly held the trademark of Edward Dressage. Do I, oh wait, that's oh wait, am I all? Do you want a coupon? I can give you a coupon. Will you leave if I give you a coupon? <laughs> Is there a manager present, Xander? People have to know what they're buying. I. I am the manager. I see. I feel so alive. <laughs> well, it would seem that I have outstayed my welcome. Good day, shopkeep. Your superiors will receive a strongly worded letter by post. Do not date this guy, Nicole. Please do not. Oh, whatever, dude. <laughs> the man whirls around and storms out. His literal coattails trailing behind him. I can't tell if they are Victorian inspired or Edwardian in nature. What if all of a sudden the the cashier comes up and that's who we start talking to? Amanda trots up to me with a t-shirt in her hand. Oh boy, here it comes. Oh, no. Hey, Deadtron 5000. Yes, I'll buy it for you. Wow, that was easy. Thanks. At least it's only one this time. That because you Amanda said you would buy it. Amanda plops buy her his shirt onto the counter and grins at the cashier. I love your hair. Nicole gets used to that. The cashier says nothing and rings Amanda up, radiating hatred. That's you too. I hand her a 20. So what was that guy's deal? The cashier rolls her eyes so hard I'm worried she'll pull something. Oh, this was a she. Uh, then I have to change it just a little bit. That's Damien. He's in here all the time. He's obsessed with Victorian fashion or whatever. She hands Amanda her bag and it's clear the conversation is over. We make our way out of the store and head home to get some rest. Amanda and I sit on the couch trying to find something to watch over bowls of ice cream. I thought they said bowels. Bowels, baby. Oh, cool. Long Haul Paranormal Ice Road Ghost Truckers is on. Your favorite, right? Oh, hell yes. Language. They have to make it over the Canadian tundra before the ice road melts, but also they're hunting ghosts. Oh. Also, the truckers are haunted. This is an episode I've already seen, but it's one of the best. Colum and Flint, Dog Bone, the twin brother... <laughs> truck driving, ghost hunting duo, find themselves in the greatest peril yet. 
It, it's you, man. Oh, yeah. You're uh, the TV. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> the good. <laughs> The ghost don't got control of the truck. I can't steer on them their damn ice roads. Roads. Let let me use the EVP meter to try to try and communicate with the spirits. Oh Oh, my god! Messed up at the end. Fleet. We're about to die. Oh shit! Uh, uh, <laughs> Moose got it. Got it. If you listen carefully, it sounds look. It's saying you're gonna die. That's because we're about to die. You. This is art. <laughs> The episode ends and Amanda excuses herself to go and start arguments on the internet. I stay up a little longer, curious about the exploits of Colum and Flint Dogbone after this disastrous ice road accident. Afterward, I crawl onto bed and get a good night's sleep. <laughs> Keep your word, dad tip number 20. Hey guys, that's the rest of the episode. I keyed 89. Look at situations positively. That's a good dad tip to have. What's the next one, Nicole? Uh, Nicole, click it so it tickets. Z, 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 Z. The morning sleepyhead. Five more minutes. Nicole, this is our relationship. You have never, ever let me have five more minutes. So, I get up and get down with the sickness. Boring. We have cereal for breakfast and spend the morning putting together furniture. Amanda is much better at interpreting the tiny manuals. We're able to put together a few shelves, one desk, but I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be a bookcase. <laughs> So, you excited for the cookout today? Excited beef on my grilling scales. If there's food, I'm excited. Eh. Uh, food. I'm all over those terrible store-bought sugar cookies that everyone brings to parties. Yeah, those are bad. Which means there are more for me. If they're talking about the sugar cookies with the icing on top. Yes. Oh, it's, pff, those are delish, baby. Don't you want to meet some of the people in the neighborhood? Amanda's drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably end up standing uncomfortably in the corner with a plate of food and hope that nobody talks to me. Yeah. You are a beautiful work in progress, Monest Fee. We will get that butterfly to emerge from the cocoon. The social butterfly, I mean. Well, we better start getting ready. We definitely don't want to be late. What? No, we have to be fashionably late. Who shows up to a cookout on time? You know what? We're going early, just because you said that. I head out the door and Amanda reluctantly follows. We walk across the street to Joseph's house with a store-bought veggie plate. I'm a terrible cook if it doesn't involve a grill. Oh, I was doing a grill. I guess we're not as early as we thought we were. Joseph's backyard is already packed with people and the smell of hot dogs wafts through the air. Small children run through a sprinkler and adults chat in small clusters. I set our veggie plate down on a table next to the two other veggie plates. Huh. Hey, there's Joseph. I wave to get his attention. The moment he sees us, he jogs over, arms open wide. Welcome. I'm so glad you two are here. And you brought veggies. Let me introduce you to my family. Kids, come here. Come over here. This is Chris, my eldest. Hi. And this is Christian and Christy. They're twins. Twins. <laughs> they stare creepily and say nothing. Thank God. Then, of course, this there's our youngest, Chris. 
Wait, where is Chris? Maybe Mary put him in his crib. Oh, how could I forget my lovely wife, Mary? Joseph pecks her on the cheek. She smiles. Hi. <laughs> oh, Mary, sweetheart, did you put Chris to, Chris to bed? I'll have to go and look for him. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> what? You'll have to? Joseph takes a moment and uh, regains uh, his composure. Oh, yes. Mary, this is our new neighbor, Fig Ass and his daughter, Amanda. <laughs> I'd shake your hand, but I have a glass of wine that I need to tend to. Ten and two. I love her. Nice to meet you, Mary. Charmed. Well, I have to go for now. Over there now. <laughs> <laughs> My wife has a funny sense of humor. That's wonderful, too. Oh, but please, you two enjoy the barbecue. All the guys are really excited to meet you. Is Joseph one of the daddies that you'll end up courting? I thought so, but, but maybe, he's married? Maybe he's the gateway to other daddies. I it could be. Yes. Or maybe Krish. He's we, the daddy's daddy. We haven't met Chris yet. Chris could be like an, uh, an adult child baby. So he might just like to sleep in a crib. Uh, and he's one of the daddies who's a future daddy, no. a future step daddy. Here, let me introduce you around. Yeah, I think he's a, a yeah. Hey, fig ass, have <laughs> you met Brian yet? Who? Hey, Brian, come over here for a second. A man in a loud Hawaiian shirt jogs up to me. Uh... There's only one person I know who always wears a Hawaiian shirt. Hiya! Oh, Brian, this is Figas. <laughs> uh, she just moved into the neighborhood. Hello. Well, pleased to meet you. Put her there. I'm trying to do a weird owl, but failing at it. <laughs> Brian pulls me into a handshake, engulfing my hand in a vice-like grip. Weird, because he looks like my stepdad, Brian. Oh, yeah, he kind of looks like Brian. I let out a small squeak after my hand bones have been ground to dust. Should I try and do an impression of Brian? No. I'm a very respectable guy. <laughs> and is a very positive male figure, father figure in both James and Nicole's life. It's me, Brian. It's me, Barack Obama. <laughs> oh, I, yeah, I guess that's also... Uh, not much of a handshake guy, huh? I'm having to look away from Nicole so I don't pick up in her uh, mic as much. Guess I'm more of a hugger. Which house did you move into? The ranch-style one in the cul-de-sac. Oh, that one... Oh, the one that's just like mine, but smaller. That kind of hurts. Is he trying to one up me? Yeah, one up in your my instinctive mouth. dad competitiveness kicks into gear. It's leaner. Smaller houses are safer. I'm happy there. Well, leaner might make him f think it's a a a <clears throat> body shaming. Uh, no, that's um no. Okay. If there were, say, a tornado, a small house is lower to the ground. A tornado? In Maple Bay? It never hurts to be prepared for tornadoes. Oh, let me introduce you to my daughter. A kid peeks out from behind Brian. This is Daisy. Oh my god, you have so many characters. I'm not taking any of them. You have to do them all. Hello. Oh. <laughs> I know. I meant to go like, hello. Yeah, yeah. That's her. <laughs> hello. Oh, shit. This is me too. <laughs> Fuck. Hi. You're what like grade a, are you you're in? You're like a dungeon master doing all the NPCs. <laughs> and it's nothing but. <laughs> hello. Fifth grade. <laughs> <laughs> 
We're actually trying to get her to skip sixth grade. Not to brag, but she's pretty smart. Not to brag? That's exactly what bragging is. Amanda's smart too. Ellipses. Thanks, Dad. Well, I'll be around the party if you feel like saying hey later. You got it. Oh, this is Robert. He, please don't have children, Robert. He <laughs> lives just dads, across James. the way. Fuck. They're dads. A haggard man nursing a glass of whiskey eyes me up and down. What? <sighs> hey, I'm big ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to meet you. He takes a long swig of his drink. Charmed. A frig ass and his daughter just moved next door. Carl. <laughs> <laughs> if you have any recommendations on where to get a drink in this town, Rob's your man. I told you not to call me Rob. <laughs> All right, got it. Robert ambles away without saying goodbye. Thank God he didn't have a child. He's not really a people person. Wow, I think I've actually met everybody else. Great! I bet he... Uh, er, wait, my name's Joseph, yes. I'm kind of sounding like L L Hugo, but it's fine. Oh, yes. Great, I bet you're excited to get everyone better. Hope you both enjoy yourselves. Amanda and I mill around and try some of the food spread out on the table. I pick out some deviled eggs. Amanda grabs a small paper plate and immediately begins piling it with baked goods. Ugh, I don't want to have to make friends. Come on, Dad. Who are you going to party with when I go off to school? <laughs> but I don't want to have to do pleasantries. Dad. <sighs> They're going to talk about weather. Arr. Go do it. Make a friend. But how could I possibly abandon my only child at a social function? That's bad parenting. That this plate of cookies is my new dad. Bye-bye. Amanda shoves me into the center of the yard. Well, here goes nothing. Uh I look around the party and I'm surprised to see some familiar faces. If you can choose, choose Daisy. I like her voice the most. Isn't that the barista from Coffee Spoon? What a cool guy and mysterious. That guy who kept trying to one-up me. Isn't that the guy who's thrown a fit in Dead Goth and Beyond? <gasps> Frank! <laughs> Isn't that Amanda's teacher? Our cat Frank just walked in. Hey, I know Craig. Wait a second, all these people live in our cul-de-sac? That can't be right. I'd better investigate. Talk to Robert and Brian. Talk to Matt Hugo Craig. Talk to Joseph and Damien. Burger time. Please don't spite me by doing the three. Oh, thank God. I spot God. Joseph chatting with the guy from Dead Goth and Beyond by the Grill. I wonder what they're talking about. I walk over to them. So, I'm curious. You are... Oh, I have a million dollars. Okay, that's... <laughs> <laughs> I need to get into character. And I play tennis. Uh, you walk... Th can you walk me through why you had your house painted black? Oh, Xander. Uh, they sound so much alike. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, Xander, I feel so alive. Oh, uh, fuck. These are the same people. Uh, you lost maybe it. I'll, maybe I'll. Xander, I'm so alive. He sounds a little, a little bit in a higher register. Xander, where do I even start? The house stays warmer in the winter. It provides an artistic contrast to the rest of the neighborhood, and it complements the crimson interior perfectly. Uh, it's definitely an interesting choice. Oh. Thank you. I'm very proud of my abode. Oh. I need to get a new 
Uh, oh, yeah, that's all right. You're going to talk. I'm a vampire. Uh, figures. <laughs> I, I was just having a conversation with Damien here about his uh, aesthetic uh, design decisions. Damien regards me up and down with a warm but critical eye. I'm nervous. Oh. How do you do? I don't believe we've had the pleasure. Why'd you just change I all had of a to. sudden? I had to. I, they were too similar. <laughs> I think I saw you in Dead Goth and Beyond the other day. Damien's face turns bright red. I uh, must apologize for my behavior that day. You see, I take the goth lifestyle very seriously and to be caught in a rose by such a corporation as dead goth and beyond was profoundly frustrating indeed uh vocal fry uh, i hope you i thought you were gonna talk nicole i you know hope you know that while my anger for my has been justified i was no such way for a gentleman to act it's okay man don't do tell me about yourself. Are you new to that? Yes, my daughter and I just moved in the other day. She was the one I took to De- Dead Goth and Beyond. Very good taste on her part. Does she partake in the goth lifestyle? <laughs> I think for a second, I look over to Amanda, who's hanging out with some of the older kids in the neighborhood. Oh my. Hey, Amanda! Would you consider yourself goth? Amanda yells back. I wouldn't necessarily try to fall under any specific label, but I guess I, if I had to choose, I would consider myself described as T-hipster, twee-hipster, with some normcore leanings. I thought that was necromancy leanings. Bats are cool, though. Ah, pity. Wait, no, I fell back in. No. Well, now it is uh, him. Dang it. Oh, are you enjoying the party so far? <laughs> Fuck. Oh, definitely. Thanks so much for putting this on. It's nice to be in a cul-de-sac where everyone is so friendly and welcoming. Amanda walks up to the conversation. I also like The Lost Boys a lot. Really good movie. Does that count as goth? Uh, that... It does, my dear. (laughs) (laughs) I can't take down his voice. Uh, I do believe we've had the pleasure of meeting Damien Bloodmark at your service. Damien finishes the sentence with a flourish and a bow, (sighs) producing a single rose and offering it to Amanda. Oh. Amanda blushes and returns the gesture with a curtsy. My, do you know how to treat a lady? Uh, we have to say this at the same time. Three, two, one. Hello, Amanda. Seemingly out of nowhere, Joseph twins. Twins. Twin kids appear. Uh, are they speaking yes. in unison? Uh, hi? Won't you come play with us? Uh, come play with us forever. Guys, enough with the creepy twin shtick. We've talked about this. Christian and Tristy? Oh, Christy. Christy. (laughs) (laughs) Tristian and Tristy (laughs) slowly back away. Where do you think they got that from? Mary pops into the conversation, wine in hand. I, uh, don't know. Mary takes a long sip of the wine. I think I might have tapped over a veggie's tail VHS with the shining. Who knows? She takes another sip of her wine. Where's Kish? 
Excuse me. Oh, that was her bourbon. (laughs) Wasn't he with you? You had him a moment ago. He's probably stuffing dirt in his (laughs) mouth. He'll be all right. Toddlers are pretty resilient. Mary tips her class to me. Uh, Ain't I my first at the rodeo time? It's my fourth. I have squeezed four little... Sweetheart, would you you do me a favor and please find Krish? It would be great. I'm sure he's fine. Mary? Mm. Okay, jeez. Mary finishes her wine and wanders Boop. off. Uh, I, what? Oh, the, holy crap. Uh, I forgot how he sounds, though. Uh, uh, was it like, uh, yeah. Dad, can we go? It probably wasn't. Oh, this is Damien's. Holy crap. Duh. Uh, uh, Lucian. Vocal fry. I have, I, uh, I'm trying to only do vocal fry. <laughs> uh, I can't, I'm bad at vocal fry, I guess. Have I introduced you to figures yet? Hey, it's that punk from Amanda's school. I remember you. Whatever. I uh, it's the no way for a young man to speak to his elders. Be polite. Lucian bows. Thank you. <laughs> oh, whatever, sir. Lucian bows again. Uh, Mr. Christian uh, may I have a veggie burger, sir? Uh, coming right up, bud. Are you a vegetarian? Yup. Make that, or make that, two veggie burgers. No, you just... I know. <laughs> uh, I guess he just changed his uh, fluid. He just changes. Uh, I'm Damien now, guys. <laughs> hey, did you know that some people in Victorian area were vegetarians? They described carnivorous types people <laughs> as blood lapers. Dad. Uh, well, that's really interesting, Damien. Joseph turns to the grill. Just a hint of a tattoo peeks out from underneath his sleeve. I can't believe I didn't notice it before. It looks like the bottom of an anchor. (laughs) Yep, I wasn't always a youth pastor, you know. That's very cool. Want to see mine? He whips out his dick. (laughs) What? Lucian pulls back some rubber bracelets, revealing a lopsided 666 in black ink. My buddy gave it, gave me a stick and poke tattoo last week. I think it's healing up pretty good. Oh, Lucian. I oh, fuck me. <laughs> what does a vampire... Guys, comment. What does a vampire sound like? This party needs to get over. Uh, we'll talk... <laughs> Well, talk about. I'm a vampire. Yeah, this is you me. You just watched. Yes. The uh, the fuck, shadows show yesterday. Oh, all of them sound European though. European. Uh, yes. I'm a kitty cat. That's what vampires sound like. Uh, that's pretty cool. What's the significance of the tattoo? I don't know. I just thought it looked sick. Well, in my opinion, the only reason you need to get a tattoo is because you want one. Careful, though. The number carries weight. Man, Joseph is a way cooler youth pastor than I thought. I just figured youth pastors popped out of the womb with a Bible. Boom. I wonder what he did before preaching. Uh, okay. Hey, yeah, yeah this guys. Is the, this uh, is the break. Yeah, we'll figure out what t- Robert and Brian, or maybe Matt, Hugo, and Craig are up to next time. Uh, we'll listen to our podcast. Nicole and I get really goofy for an hour plus with guests on Mostly Speaking Sentai. You can find it wherever podcasts are found, or go to mlmpod.com to find links to listen or more information on my other podcasts, such as This Movie's Gay, What the Hell Mouth, and Hit It in Credit. Nicole? Yes? 
darling homebody. <laughs> it was it was a good. It was a joke. Uh, hi, it's me, Nicole, aka Darling Homebody. Go to darlinghomebody.com to see cool stuff that I make. Uh, go to patreon.com slash darlinghomebody for a monthly sticker. Go to Darling Homebody on Tumblr, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Oh, and guess what, guys? I've been James. Comment, like, subscribe, but I've been James. I'm Nicole. And we've been mostly, mostly playing PlayStation. PlayStation. But, but it's, it's really the Switch. The Switch. Uh, hey guys, comment, what's your favorite burger to grill? What do you like on a grill? Let us know in a guys, comment. comment, what does a vampire sound like? Yes, please let me know what a vampire, give me a, link a YouTube video if you're allowed to do that. Bye bye now. Bye bye. Oh, I, <laughs> I kissed the mic screen. <laughs>